Now let's see the implementation of constructor. So what exactly a constructor is? It's a member, member method which has the same name as class name and uh, you cannot call constructor explicitly. So let's define a class and we'll say we call this class as ABC. Now, so can I, how to get object of ABC? You have to say ABC OBJ equal to new ABC, right? So once you got the object, now if you see this, uh, if you concentrate on this object, we have a class name, then we have, we provide a reference, reference name, and then we use a new keyword. Now new keyword is responsible to give the memory. Now how much memory we need? that specified by the constructor okay so all the initialization and all the instantiation are normally done with the help of constructor that means this constructor here is defined it's already defined in this class abc then you will say where is it since you know in, since jvm knows every class needs a constructor so by default it will give you one default constructor and the signature of that constructor is it's public ABC constructor never return anything so we don't have to provide anything like void or int or so then it has the same name as class name so your class name is ABC so constructor will have a name called as ABC and then you have to provide this bracket this round brackets now let me print here something I will say system dot out dot print Allen and I will print here in constructor I will say in constructor ABC so it belongs to a constructor ABC. Okay, see, now this is a method, right? So whenever you have a name with brackets, it's a method. But this is a special method, it's a constructor. Since it's a method, we should, we should be calling, right? But constructor says, whenever you create an object, it will automatically get called. It's because you write here, constructor and a semicolon, that, in, in that, that is indirectly you are calling that constructor. But here, we don't need to call a constructor, it will be get called when the object is created. So I will say, let's run this code. And the output is, is in constructor ABC. So this is how you have to define a constructor. In, in fact, we can define a constructor in this way, like we can pass some parameters. And since if we pass a parameter here, we need to pass this parameter from here also. So we have to say five so that it will accept this int i. Not exactly it works, that we'll see in the next part of the tutorial.